Hello. The last, uh, last two or three days I've been over at my dad's house um, and I've been rebuilding our door. Uh, the door has seen better days. This, this is loose. You can see right here where this is compressed and plastic. You can see down here, I can't even put the stop in here because there's nothing there to support it. All the wood that's in here is gone. All that's left is the uh, foam. Um, the kids keep on slamming the door so the plastic keeps on breaking. And so I took the glass out and we put plastic on both sides just to protect the, you know, from getting cold and the elements. But, you know, I'll be putting two, one pane of glass and one plexi glass in here so it'll be dual pane. Um, it'll be a solid door. I'll be keeping the, the plastic skin on there. Uh, one of the things that uh, I'm doing here right now is I'm taking hinges off. There's like six hinges here. I've already got some of them off. Um, but like I said, the door's going to be solid. And the inside's going to be the beadboard just like the rest of the RV. So I'll bring you back on the next step. So that's the foam. That's the inside of the door. This is the rest of the wood. That's all that's left. Really not much. And a bar. There's the outside skin. The inside. Here is the door all glued together. I've got uh, what is a the bottom piece here is um, weather uh, is green. It's uh, supposed to be weather resistant. Just a piece of junk wood in the middle, and the beadboard on top. got the uh, dead deadbolt hole drilled and we've got the latch which looks like this here we've got it all fitting pretty nice and next thing we're gonna do is the window this took a long time right here um, mainly because we wanted to make sure it fit well it slopped around so much in the old door and I don't want it to slop around Oh, it's uh, coming along pretty good. I'm not sure if I would use, if I did this again, if I'd use the, the green wood. The uh, weatherproof plywood. So, but, there's no going back now. Like I said, next thing is the window. Alright, well here's the uh, finished side. We still need to sand and poly this side, but... We've made, uh, on purpose, we made it so that the, the door was thicker than the original. And now we're going to be putting a small rabbit in here. Um, to make sure that, or for, so that the, uh, that the molding or the casing will fit. So that's what we're doing right now. We're getting real close to being done. Nice solid door. Here's the, uh, it's all put back together, real nice and solid, and it is now 8.30 almost, and uh, I have to go home and put it on the RV. It's looking real good, real nice and solid. We're going to end up putting a little, another pane of glass right here in this, but we're going to make it so we can hinge it and open it up and have a, a little blinds in there, something to, to block the sun or for privacy. 
So we'll just have to stain it in our uh, poly it and we'll be complete. Okay, going back down. <coughs> Alright, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I've got the door back on. It's a little tight, but hey. And I don't have it all the way done yet either. I only have, I put three inch screws. See the shot. I have to show you in the morning. <coughs> so I've only got two screws in the, out of the four. All the way up. But the three inch screws going into the wood. So it, So it looks real good. It swings real nice. It doesn't look like I had any problem at all. So, <coughs> here's the outside molding for the glass. Yeah, I'll we'll have to do all this over in the morning. But, looks real good. Okay, well, it's daylight now. Here's the finished door. I still got a few things to put on it, back on it. I want to get a new uh, new door holder and a new bolt lock or deadbolt. Cause this thing's junk. And we need to uh, still sand and poly the door. Yeah, I still need to put the magnets on to hold the <coughs> hold the screen door open, but nice and solid. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put a uh, another window here on the outside. We're gonna make it hinge so it opens up, and we can put a blind inside of it. And yeah, that way we can open and shut the blind. The door's extremely solid. Um, it's a little tight to shut, but pretty well. Everybody likes it.